it's Erica with Magic Making Mamas and today I have a big Disneyland shopping haul for you. This is a big one. I usually wouldn't have enough to do all because <laughs> Disney is expensive but I got very lucky with like an extra bonus from work I didn't expect and some gift cards I found that I forgot I had and like it worked out in my favor and your favor because now I get to show you a bunch of stuff they have. So let's dig in. Okay, so I'm going to kind of categorize this. The first stuff I got was for my kids. So Orson, my son, really likes pressed pennies and he wanted me to bring him back some pressed pennies. I was a little bit upset because a lot of the ones that are still showing up on the map as existing don't ex actually exist anymore. Plus like I kept like I didn't, they're not something you notice. So I kept having to hunt for them when I had time and I would keep forgetting to. So then when it was like crunch time to try to find him pressed pennies, I couldn't find any because they don't exist as much as they say they do. Especially disappointing because they sell these pressed Disney coin collection books. So I got him this um, coin collecting little book. It was $14.99. It opens like this. And you can slide a bunch in and there's even slots at the top that say coins to be pressed. So you can like put blank pennies there and stuff for when you do find the machines, which is also weird to me because the only ones I did find did not accept coins. You had to pay with a card or bills. <laughs> and instead of charging the 51 cents, they charge you a dollar for every coin. So I still had fun trying to get them for him. So again, that, that's the front. That's the back. And then the pennies I got him, I they probably will not show up very well. But I got him three from Cars Land. It was three for three dollars. And then I got him three from World of Disney. And he loved them. He thought they were great. I like them too. I just I hope that we can continue to collect pennies, even if they're not from Disney, and put them in here because he like randomly would be like, I want a flat penny. <laughs> like, okay. The other thing I got him was this really cute Pluto shirt, it says Disneyland on the sleeve, it says 30 on the back. It kind of reminded me of like a soccer shirt. He plays soccer as much as a three-year-old can play soccer. And he likes Pluto. He thinks he's cute. So I didn't know how excited he would be about a shirt, but he actually really liked it, which was great. For my daughter, who is one, she's obsessed with Mickey. She'll say, Dee 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 every time she sees anything Mickey. And I've gotten her a few many things, but she's definitely into Mickey. So I got her this baby Mickey. I have already torn off the tag, and I don't think the tag actually said how much he was. I cannot remember how much he was. But I will look through the receipts, and if I can find it, I'll enter it on the screen. But she loves him. He's wrapped up in, like, a little swaddle, and he comes out of it. He's very cute. Orson even likes to play with him every now and then. He's like, why is he in a blanket? I'm like, because he's a baby. You swaddle babies. The other thing that I got for Maeve, because my hair on it already, is this shirt. It says, the future is mine with the princesses. I go back and forth. Like, I don't want to push anything on her. I want her to, like, make her own decisions for what she likes. But, like, right now, she can't like I can hold something in front of her and see how excited she gets and I know that just from like being in the store not even me showing her something she is like really drawn to Ariel she's never seen Little Mermaid and um she does like Belle too so I know she does like princess stuff so I got her this but I also like I go back and forth between like how much princess stuff should she have because in the Disney movies they're all kind of dumb until Lately, like Moana has a better story, Frozen has a better story, like they're getting better, but like I also love the classics, so I just got a razor right, I guess, and it won't matter. So I got my kids those things for my husband. Oh look, here's the Mickey baby tag, yeah. It's a white tag, so sometimes they'll have nothing, like no price on it, but they'll have a color, like yellow, silver, and then they'll have a chart that'll say like silver items cost $9.99, yellow items cost $12.99. This didn't even have that. It was just a sign, I think it was like $22.99, which is kind of expensive for a little plush, but I'll find the, hopefully find the for real price. This was for my husband. It's an Oogie Boogie shirt. 
and it's a button down. I saw this in DCA a lot. I didn't see it in Disneyland, I don't think. I saw it in California Adventure a lot though, and they also had an Oogie Boogie Spirit jersey that Casey really wanted. And if you find a medium Oogie Boogie Spirit jersey going back in stock on Shop Disney, hit us up because we need to get this girl her spirit jersey. They only had it in DCA. DCA closes earlier than Disneyland. We hopped on our last day from DCA to Disneyland, closed out Disneyland. They didn't have the Oogie Boogie jersey at World of Disney or anything else in downtown Disney, but they did have this shirt. So I did get Clay this, and this was $59.99. And I wasn't sure if he would like it. He doesn't really like loud colors and stuff, but it's, it's a mix of black and a loud color, and it's Oogie Boogie, and he loves Oogie Boogie. Nightmare Before Christmas is like the house favorite at our house. Um, and he said like he will totally wear it around Halloween time, which made me very happy. The other thing I got him, I don't know where it is because I gave it, I gave this all to, the, to them and then I took it back for this video <laughs> while they're not home. But I couldn't find this. I got Clay something he, re he, I almost said respected, something he requested. And I don't know if you know about it, but it is a special gift card that you can only get at one spot in Galaxy's Edge. And it's a metal gift card and I'm sure it has some special name. He would know it, but you can only get it if you pay a $5 activation fee and you have to put a minimum of $100 on the card. They are not on display. You have to ask for them. They are only at Droid Depot. So I went to a shop and asked and they were like, if they have them, they're at Droid Depot. So I went to Droid Depot and I asked and he had a few and he was like, I have to call and make sure I can sell you this because it's not in the spot they're supposed to be in. So he called and they were like, yeah, whoever he talked to said, yeah, it's fine. So I got it and I wish I could show you, but I'll put a picture of it right here. It kind of worked out for me because he just wanted the gift card. So I loaded it with a hundred dollars using a hundred dollar Visa gift card I had. So I bought that and you could use it at any Disney shop. It didn't have to be a Star Wars shop. And then I was able to go shopping with it <laughs> for myself. He just wanted the metal card. So um, I'll find a picture of it and I'll put it in, but it was really cool. And it's like a hidden secret. You have to know about it and ask for it. So next let's do pins. So you may have noticed on Magic Making Mamas that we do a lot of Disney Daisy and mini things because um, Casey is like my mini and I'm like her Daisy. We're like best friends and we love both of them. So we each have this pen. I cannot see the viewfinder. I'm having camera issues and phone issues. So actually my camera issue is that my camera battery said my phone issue is that the front facing camera is cracked. So I have to use it rear and I can't see. So I'm hoping this is just showing up clear. But it's Minnie and Daisy taking a selfie in front of the castle. And we tried to get a picture taking a selfie in front of the castle with these pens. But we were using my phone with a cracked screen. It came out really blurry. Um, but we just had to get it. It's so cute. So this is one of those things that have like that silver price tag on it. And on the chart it said it was $9.99. They do that so that they can change the price at any time. Another one that I got was Baby Eeyore. He is my favorite character. There were a few different Eeyore pens, but I just, this is one of the first things I saw when we entered the park and I knew I had to get it. I was already planning on getting pens and growing my collection. He's my favorite character, but I don't have anything from him. Uh, I had to get it. It's so cute. And also a silver. I'm doing the beauty guru hand thing and I don't even know if I need to or if it's working. <laughs> also a $9.99 pen. And then we come to two unexpected pens that I was so happy to find. It is the um, Haunted Mansion Holiday Overlay 20th Anniversary. And I saw that they had merchandise for it, like on other YouTube videos before I went. And I wasn't in love with any of the merch. It wasn't anything like I felt comfortable using, like wearing a t-shirt that had it. The t-shirt was not like as cute as something I would wear all the time, like a spirit jersey or something. And the cups and stuff like that, they had corksicles that were really nice, but it's like if I'm going to spend $40 on a corksicle, do I want it to be Haunted Mansion Holiday? I love Haunted Mansion Holiday. It's my favorite ride of all time, but it just wasn't something that fit me. And then away from all of that merch, at a pin shop, or it wasn't even a pin shop. It was not even like anything Christmassy or Haunted Mansion, but on the limited edition pin board, they had this pen. It was $19.99. It didn't have a, a color because it's limited edition, so it's priced a certain way all the time. And so um, 
I don't, I don't know, I was just happy to have something to commemorate my favorite ride and its anniversary and grow my pin collection at the same time. This one, I thought I was done with getting pins. And then I saw this and I had to get it. I saw it on my downtown Disney day the last day I was there. Casey had already, already left. We were done with the parks. And I was only over at the pin area, the pin collector little booth, because I was doing some type of scavenger hunt that brought me there. And I saw this hat box ghost and he is special and specific to Disneyland Haunted Mansion. And I don't know, I just love him. And I just, I don't know how to get it. Well, it's dangly dangly. It was a yellow price. So I want to say that was $12.99 at the time. And that's it for my pens. So let's do, while we're doing something small, let's do something else small. I have a Pandora bracelet and I haven't worn it in so long because let me see. I'm going to show you like it is full of charms and it still dangles to like this part of my hand, like the widest part of my hand. And it's so uncomfortable. So it's just been sitting there and getting dirty. So what I did was the other day, this is a side note, I pulled it out, pulled off all the non Pandora charms. You cannot have non Pandora charms on or avoids the warranty and the cleaning. So they won't clean it if you bring it to a Pandora, if there's non Pandora charms on it. I have to get it cleaned and then I'm going to try to sell the bracelet and hopefully for Christmas I'm going to ask for one that fits me. So I was on the hunt for a few different ones. I didn't find the ones that I wanted. They they had a pumpkin Mickey that was one I really wanted and they didn't have it in stock at the Pandora store or the dress shop in downtown Disney. And I have no idea if you're going to be able to see this. <laughs> but this is Madame Leota. She's a dangle charm. I don't get very many dangle charms. This actually is my second one I think. And on the back it says, Dear Sweet Leota, beloved by all in regions beyond now in regions beyond now but having a ball. So this is her normal like tombstone. Um again, no idea if you can see it. I got this little dangle charm and she's still in the box because I want to get a new bracelet before I add any charms. So this was like my ex well, I say it was my expensive one. I got some spear jerseys and those are really expensive. But this was like my special treat to myself. But really, everything was a special treat to myself, so I guess I shouldn't say that. It was a splurge that I didn't plan on. Um, another, I think I have just a couple more little things. So I did a princess breakfast. I did not buy this, but it came with my experience. And I am hoping the footage came out okay. I think it did because my the tripod I was using is, was so wobbly. But I wasn't walking around much with it. It was stable. So I'm hoping all that footage is okay and I can create a video about it. But I went to a Disney princess adventure breakfast at Grand California, Napa Rose. And so they gave me like this postcard that had all the princess signatures on it. And then it came with a gift. So the kids I noticed got um, a princess tiara necklace, which was really cute. I just had some kids next to me that had gotten it. And I noticed online in the past that they had given kids um, princess autograph books and the princesses would autograph it because you, you get to experience princesses. It's like a character breakfast. And um, that was a past gift. And then a past gift for adults was a really nice picture frame. So I don't mean to complain. I just was a little bit disappointed after seeing that and getting this bag. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, it's very cute and honestly like I wouldn't have been disappointed if I hadn't seen the other stuff online but this is like the gift that came with that breakfast so I can't wait to share all about it all I'm gonna say right now is highly recommend even in COVID times highly recommend so another thing oh I walked away with this pen I wasn't really supposed to it's the Napa Rose pen I, it was my signature pen and I I want to say it was an accident but I'm not sure it was so I also did this Pluto's pumpkin pursuit in downtown Disney this is the scavenger hunt I did I don't want to show it for too long because I mean if you want to stop it and screenshot it for the answers that's fine but what you have to do is take the stickers off the back of different pumpkins and then on the front you stick it over the name of the location you found that pumpkin so for example this is Donald Duck underneath it it said I think this is where um 
I don't know. I don't think it was pin traders actually, but I'm just going to say pin traders. So then you stick the Donald Duck sticker. If that's the pumpkin you saw at pin traders, you stick that pumpkin on pin traders. It was really fun. And so after the scavenger hunt, which they do this for like all holidays, just different kinds, I got to turn it in for a coffee mug and they had three or four different options. And I picked this one. So it says Halloween magic. It has Figaro and Minnie Mouse and different candy and Orson wants it. <laughs> so that was uh, $9.99, about 10 bucks to get the little thing and then you trade it in for your cup. I'm pretty sure that even if you didn't complete it, like you paid for it, you could go trade it in blank and get your cup because that's really what you're paying for. Okay, now on to the ears. So I got this pair while I was there, the Disneyland pair. I've had my eye on them for a long time. I love them. I bought them as soon as I got into the park. <laughs> Like literally walked in, you see the ears, bottom. I also got these. This is my favorite color, like an emerald green. And also as my lovely counterpart, Casey Pawned, Pawned, Casey pointed out, they're like Loki colors and we both love Loki. So I love these. And then there's another pair of ears that's not for me. And it's so hard for me not to keep them, but I got these for a giveaway on my Instagram. So go over there because this week, uh, actually, I'm not sure when this video is going up, but it should be within the giveaway time. I am giving away these fall ears. They've been very popular. All the ears that I got were $29.99. They do sell a couple different like premium ears that cost like $39.99 or $49.99 depending on the pair. But all these were $39.99 and these are like leather and they have like a suede bow and they're so cute. Perfect for fall. And that's it for ears. The last thing I have is clothing that I got for myself. So I feel naked without a pair of ears. Got to put them back on. The first piece of clothing that I got was this sweatshirt. It has like retro looking, like retro looking colors and just like a basic Disneyland sweatshirt. Very comfortable. I wore it a lot on the trip and I love it. No regrets. No regrets for any of this actually. I got this retro-ish looking Disneyland shirt. And when I bought it, I didn't realize this, but on the back, it tells you all the dates of when the big rides came. Or I probably not even the big one, maybe all of them. I honestly haven't read through the whole list yet. I did notice that Web Slingers isn't on here. So Rise of the Resistance is, it's the last one that's on the list. But Web Slingers isn't. And my husband was like, you got a discount because they're missing a ride. I'm like, no, I didn't even notice that th there was even anything on the back. This shirt was $24.99. They weren't running a special when I was there. But I know recently and a lot of times they will be like, you buy three and they're $21 each or whatever. Like they'll lower the price the more you get or do some kind of deal. And they didn't have that going on when I went, which was totally fine. I don't need a bunch more t-shirts, but I just really like this one. I also got two spirit jerseys. I actually wore this one yesterday, so it's dirty. <laughs> but I saw it. I loved it. I saw girls wearing it around the park. Loved it even more seeing it on them. And it's just this like burnt orangey red, like rust, I guess I should say. It's like a rust colored spirit jersey. Just the basic one. And it has the rugby stripes on the arm. I guess that's what you would call them. The Disneyland D was on the front and then Disneyland Resort really big on the back. And I like these. There are things like I love Disney stuff and in the past I haven't bought a ton of it. But now that I'm doing Disney Travel Agent, like I feel more comfortable doing it. And also at work we have something called Workout Wear Wednesday. And we can wear workout leggings and stuff as long as our bum is covered. These are the perfect length for that. So I wore it yesterday on Workout Wear Wednesday. I'm just going to throw that back into the dirty clothes. <laughs> And last but not least, this is something I absolutely did not plan on getting, was a second spirit jersey. It is marble. Both of these were whatever the standard price is. I want to say $69.99. I could be wrong. Um, but again, like they've been for the last couple of years, like changing the price of the spirit jersey. So this is one of those ones that just has like that white tag and you have to ask what I did pro tip they ha are testing out that mobile checkout thing at world of disney and 
I don't know about anywhere else, but definitely there. And so what I did for things like this, what I, when I didn't know the price, I wasn't actually doing mobile order or mobile checkout. And I'll tell you why in a second, but I opened that part of the app and I scanned it to see what the price was for this and a few other things that didn't have a price. So that's a pro tip. Even if you're not planning on using it, if you scan it, it will tell you the price. The back of this, so I'm sorry, went on a little rant there, has a little marble on the front, big marble on the back and all those characters at the bottom. So what happened with this, I need to wash it. I haven't worn it yet, but I, I still need to wash it. Um, what happened with this is that I was in line to check out with whatever else, I think Clay's shirt and the kids stuff. And I noticed this girl that was in line, like kind of next to me, she had this in her hand and I had never seen it anywhere. I didn't see it in DCA. I didn't not Avengers Campus even. I didn't see it in Disneyland. Maybe it was there. I don't know. We had already been in World of Disney once, me and Casey. This was the second or third time I had gone in. Didn't see this anywhere. I noticed it in her hand and I was like, I actually like really like that. And I hadn't even seen the whole thing yet. So I checked out and I went over to where she put it and it wasn't where it went. This was the one and only one that I could see in the whole entire store. She had it. She decided not to get it and put it down and it was my size. And I was like, it was meant to be. I have to get it. I just really like it. I just, I don't know. I just love it so much. My only complaint is that no WandaVision on here and I get why, but I mean, actually I really don't get why, but <laughs> I just like, I know they can only pick so many characters, but it's like Ant-Man and Wasp are on here. So where are Vision and... Scarlet Witch. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Like I very much love it. And so I got it. And uh, I'm just in love with everything. I have no regrets. <laughs> when I look at the receipts, I have a little bit of regret, but now that I'm holding it, it brings me joy. So that is it. That is my Disneyland haul. Just kidding. As I am editing this video, I realized, I actually realized yesterday that I didn't include the very first thing I bought. I bought this lounge fly. I didn't have a park bag. Long story short, I was trying to not check a bag or bring a carry-on and pay extra money with Frontier. So I like shoved everything in a personal item size bag. That means I couldn't have brought a park bag and I had to buy one like immediately and I wanted to. And so I got this lounge fly. It's my one and only lounge fly as of right now. And it's technically Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which they don't even have in Disneyland. And I've never ridden, but it's just, there's like the cutest scenes. And Casey noticed they're riding a hot dog. So yes, I got this as well. And I can't remember the price. I'll include it in the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you like pick out some things maybe you want to find on your next trip. Or maybe just dream a little bit. That's good too. Thanks for hanging out with me. Keep an eye out for some other videos. I'm hoping the footage from our trip came out okay. I've been really scared to look, but we're going to sift through it. We're going to have a video of us talking about everything if that hasn't already come out. And I'm really excited. Like we have a ton of stuff to share. So again, thanks for hanging out. Subscribe so you don't miss anything and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.